just realized of course we want to build a spaceship and fly the human race to another planet what else are we going to do i mean it's it makes me laugh i was like laughing as i was saying it because we're explorers like that's what we are oh I, I'll, I'll talk about it now i think that ultimately what the human race is would like to do is stop fighting and build a spaceship and fly the human race to another planet or fly a large portion of the human race to another planet and in this at this point it would be the wealthy people if they wanted I suppose it would just cost a lot of money and then you could fly to another planet why must it be yeah I mean yeah it's exploration you know <laughs> that's I would do it I think that'd be what a great life to live even in space, I would miss the Earth, but I would live in space. I mean, we write about it, we make movies about it, we talk about it. It's like science fiction. What's out there? The great fear. Aliens, they're going to get you. Aliens are not going to get you. Aliens are the same as us. It's all, we're all the same. And we're all just kind of drawn to each other. It's all drawn to itself. And so we will. We will build a spaceship and we will fly to another planet. And I think when we do that, we could live on the spaceship or plug into the internet while we're on the spaceship and exist in the ether while we're traveling. Aware of what's happening the entire time. We, you know, knowing that there's the spaceship and, and having the awareness the dual, of the dual uh, dimensions, I suppose. Is that what this internet is becoming? Is another dimension, a gateway into another dimension? Are we having control over higher dimensional power with the internet and with video, with just with technology? I think so. I think that we are finding ways to rip into other dimensions. And so we, we exist with all of it at the same time. Maybe what happens is people start to rip into another dimension like enlightenment or something. You know, like they're doing it and it happens so fast and the people around them aren't because they're afraid. And so they pull back from people and then they go crazy and they, and they manifest their own death because they're isolated from the people. But... That's, that's what happens if you isolate. That's what happens if you go and explore too far on your own. <laughs> Even in the wilderness, that's what happens if you explore too far on your own. We're always warned not to go too far on your own. And that fear has gotten over, so overwhelming, people are like, I'm not going anywhere. So that is no more. That ha is gone. I, we have to explore. We are explorers. But we can't explore too far alone or we will be destroyed. And so we stay together and we communicate together and no one person, you don't do anything extreme. You don't remove yourself from the group to extreme. You just, just exist with people. And that's all it's got to be. We're just, the technology is getting better now. So it's on the, like this, it's just me existing with people, with you. And then, but it's like a lot of people at once and we can all do this. So that's the evolution. I think it's an evolution. We've built ourselves in a step in evolution. This technology, the ability to connect with the masses for the individual without a lot of money. Not to say I don't have, I guess, money by American standards. I'm really touching my face. I'm not going to touch my face anymore. People have made comments about it, and I believe it does make my face oilier. And I've had some, a lot of zits recently. So I'm going to stop touching my face out of nervousness. Oh, I'm, I'm nervous now saying it, but it's real. Um, the, the internet, I think, will be a nice experience to have aboard a spaceship. You know, you, you can... Maybe we could still connect with people on Earth readily. The technology will be so good. <laughs> Through video. <laughs> I feel like a, I 
feel like a madman right now because I'm laughing. You know, I didn't smoke any weed yesterday. I took a day off, and I didn't. Earlier in the day today, I worked, and I had this was about 48 hours total, a little less, maybe like 40 hours total. And it's good. It's it was a good break, but I did earlier. But it's still, it's a good break. It's a good balance. I'm having some good thoughts, and I think that's how it's I'm going to be. You know, like half the time. Not all the time. It's separation from the pack. It, that is why people smoke weed every day and then they end up manifesting either isolation or destruction. It is a drug and there's a reason that it's illegal and it's more than financial, I think. Maybe. Ah, I don't. I think it's illegal because people realize that it drives you to one extreme. It's not bad, it's just maybe it's in opposition to money. So the people with money make the people with the marijuana elite make the marijuana illegal, and the people with the marijuana don't have the ability to connect and communicate about having some sort of movement in the other direction, and marijuana leads people to be kind of inactive. You don't really go out and do stuff. So now we can be inactive and communicate and use the internet to do it. And, you know, I don't know, maybe it's too extreme. It should never be criminal. It should be maybe a fine if, if, they, have, if you, they catch you with it in public. Or, and, you know, it's like alcohol. Treat it like alcohol. I think alcohol has pretty balanced laws, although it's so readily available. And that's why it gets abused. But if you couldn't, like, buy it at the grocery store, if you had to, like, order it, I haven't drank in a while. That's that's the powerful one. They're both powerful. Weed is powerful if you in excess, if you do it a lot. I guess they're both powerful. They're both they're both powerful. So there's a balanced movement. A balanced movement of people, a freedom of thought. And that's how it is, and that's how it's going to be, and it's going to continue to be that way. It's just getting... I think people are just understanding more. It is constant evolution. See ya.